Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Nikki Marino Show. It's Friday. It's happy hour somewhere. Cash your checks. Run to the sports book. Grab a cocktail. And let's get ready for some more March Madness. Guys, the field is coming down to the end. The first four of the Sweet 16 last night. I mean, what a night I had for the Marino team. What a, I mean, it, it was outstanding. Like, you get hot at the right time. And, and that's the bottom line. You get hot. I'm your host. Nikki Marino, the Nikki Marino. Guys, if you do not follow my Facebook page, make sure you follow my Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Nikki Marino, so you do not miss out on the Marino show. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, my live podcast. Also Thursday, the Meet Me at the Window podcast. I got a huge special guest coming on next week. Do not miss it. I mean, he's a local celebrity out here in Las Vegas. Uh, and he, Great personality, great guy. He's been in the music industry for a long time. If you're familiar with the Beastie Boys, you will um, you'll know who he is. So, guys, make sure you uh, check that check that out next week. That podcast, guys, we're gonna get right into it today. I'm feeling great, guys. If you didn't get my card last night, you missed a sweep. I went to Target this morning, tried to get a couple brooms, but they said Nicky Marino bought all the brooms. They're sold out all across Las Vegas because all we do is sweep, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm feeling another sweep tonight, so let's jump right back into it. We're going to do a little recap of last night's card. Gonzaga from the West Coast Conference against the Razorbacks. Arkansas, man. Um, guys, this is a team that's been real scrappy all year. I've been following them all year. I've been on top of them all year, cashing tickets on them. And last night, they just came out running and gunning on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, I knew they could win this game outright. But, I mean, I, I feel like Las Vegas messed up with this line. Like, Las Vegas did not have this line right last night. How do you give – how do you give a team uh, – I just ten – point, 10 points in the Sweet 16 against a West Coast Conference team, Gonzaga, that hasn't played anybody all year. They're not really that tested. And, I, you know, Arkansas just really put it to them. Arkansas really – Put it to him last night. And um, I'm glad we started off the day with a 300 unit max unit play last night. Start off the day on the right foot. Arkansas rolls. Rolls against the Zags. Wins outright. I mean, the performance they put on. Now they got now they're going heading to the uh, to the Elite Eight now against a Duke Blue Devils team that was also on my card. A 200 unit winner. And we got the job done last night, ladies and gentlemen. The Duke Blue Devils got the job done. It gets Coach K his 100th, 100th tournament victory. I mean, what's better than that? I want to give a shout out to Coach K, man. Just, I know it's your last year. You're going into retirement. I mean, a tremendous, an outstanding career you've had with the coaching staff at Duke Blue Devils, you know. Your dynasty your, that you built in this era at Duke is just—it's tremendous. I—I I don't, I don't know—I don't know that there's not another word for it. And you just did a terrific job. And I knew you weren't gonna leave off on 99. You think Coach K was gonna leave off on 99 wins? Not happening. Last night, the Duke, the Duke young freshman Duke team gets it done against a well-rounded Texas Tech team. I mean, Texas Tech, they just kept punching and punching. They led it, they led by four at halftime. You know, they were just there. They, they just kept pushing. Every time Duke took the lead, what do you know? The Red Raiders jump right back and just put another punch down Duke's throats. But Duke overcame it. And, you know, they they got the job done down the stretch in the last two to three minutes. And my team was on Duke heavy. We cast a, we cast a tremendous three-team parlay last night. I hit a four-team parlay myself. So um, shout out to the Marino team and all the important and smart investors that invest in the winning team. We're going to touch on another team, another Pac-12 team, another low-end conference, you know, another conference that's at the bottom of the barrel, the Pac-12. And Arizona, man, what they, they, you know, they stretched around the one and two seed. One, two, three, four, five seeds all year in the nation. And they just, last night, they just could not get the job done. 
And um, against a great Houston team, I mean, this Houston team, they led the whole game, and they had a, you know, top of the stretch. I mean, they're a tough team to beat. We had the under in that game, under 145 and a half. Uh, so that was um, our ending leg in our parlay. And March Madness continues, guys. March Madness continues to get better and better every round, every day, every game. I mean, these guys are playing – these guys are playing for their lives, man. You know, they're they're really playing for their lives. And some of these college kids, it might be the last time they put, you know, their team's uniform on as they move into the next the next point of their career. So all power to them, man. And um March Madness, Sweet 16, Elite Eight, Final Four right around the corner. So let's keep cooking. Let's keep chefing up these winners in the kitchen. And um it's Marino, baby. You're tuned in with the Marino Show. Thank you for everybody that's tuned in. And we are uh, just trying to get bigger and better every day. Uh, another team that I've, I've set my hopes on high, this Villanova team, I've, I've pushed it time in and time out. And I don't know how much I'm, I can push it to you guys that this Villanova team is well-disciplined, well-coached. They're well-balanced on both sides of the floor. Gillespie, man, they're led by an outstanding point guard. I mean – that gets buckets, drops dimes, and knows how to balance and spread the floor. And also, they got a great defensive set on the defensive side of the basketball, too. Tough team to beat, you know. I mean, they beat they beat a Michigan team that we all didn't see Michigan getting, you know, reaching the Sweet 16 this year, you know. A lot of coaching problems with Jawan Howard. I mean, Jawan, you need to control your attitude, man. You're a poor loser. You are. You're a poor sport. You really are, man. And it's bad for college basketball, man. You know, you see it in NBA every now and then, but we're talking, like, collegiate to, like, professional. Like, you should never put your hands on another coach. So, you should never put your hands on another human being, like, if you're an adult. I mean, such a bad look. But, hey, uh, big ups to Michigan, you know, making the Sweet 16, you know. Just fell short against, a, you know, a well-rounded Villanova team. I've been telling you guys this, you know, all, mar all March, you know. So, I, I really see Villanova going far. Do I see Villanova going to the Final Four? Nicky Marino does. I see this Villanova team getting to the Final Four. Guys, we got a big night tonight. Can the Cinderella shoes dress the whole nine yards? Can it keep intact tonight? Can it keep intact with the boys from the MAC Conference? St. Peter's going up against a tough Purdue team. I've been calling Purdue frauds all year. But somehow they just keep managing to get the job done. They do not like to blow out teams. I'll tell you that right now. They do struggle with blowing out teams. A St. Peter's team getting 12 and a half tonight. A St. Peter's team getting 12 and a half points tonight against the Boilermakers. We're going to see what Purdue brings to the table tonight. And, you know, it should be a good game. Man. I mean, St. Peter's, they're the Cinderella story of, of the tournament this postseason. You know, they are March. So we got to see what they can definitely bring to the table tonight. And um, I, think, I think they're going to compete. I don't think they're going to get blown out. I think they'll be right there. But, you know, I think Purdue will have their five to eight minute run and really separate throughout the game. So look forward to that big matchup. A game that's on my card. I was on Creighton when they played when they played against um, Kansas, and I'm probably going to be on Providence tonight, getting the seven and a half. I mean, this Providence team has been, you know, they've been spoil they've been spoiling the tournament, you know, every round. I mean, they had a they're well coached by Coach Cooley out there in Providence. Like I told you guys before, I, I watched this team growing up, man. Like, this was my, this was my basketball college hoops phenom growing up. I watched them. I went to the games at the Dunkin' Donuts Center. We had season tickets growing up. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is a team that I've watched. And I watched them all year, and they've been playing tremendous basketball. They're a real scrappy team. They got a nice point guard, which a, tra a transfer from St. Joe's over the offseason. They are going up against, you know, you cannot rule out a well-coached, a team that's very strong offensively, Kansas. Uh, Kansas is a well-rounded team as well, just like Villanova, man. They, they're kind of like, they kind of like the same breed. They come from the, from the same stretch. And um, 
I can really see. I see a dog fight coming in. A dog fight. It's like you can't put a pit bull against a Pomeranian. It just it don't happen. So, but I I see Providence. I see him. I see him fighting tonight. You know, can the dogs bark tonight? We shall see. I'm sure Friar Town's gonna be off and popping tonight. We've been talking about it all March. Guys, I've been pushing it to you guys all March. This has been my team. If they win the tournament, I cashed a ticket for 92000 I took them in a future two weeks before the tournament started. The North Carolina Tar Heels, I mean, they just squeaked it by. I mean, they blew a 27-point lead against Baylor in the last round and squeaked out an overtime victory. My team was high on them. I mean... Absolutely high on them. I mean, we we crushed them in that game. Going up against UCLA, UCLA, one of their guys are game time's decision. Jerong, I mean, can they get it done? Can UCLA get it done? Can Tiger Campbell lead them down the stretch once again? We all seen UCLA's run last year. Can they keep it intact? And um, I am leaning. I'm leaning towards UCLA in this game. I am. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are on the Tar Heels tonight. I feel like the Tar Heels, if they're not, if their offensive weapons aren't going their way, you know, if Brady's not hitting them threes, you know, I mean, it's going to be a tough battle for both sides. It all depends on field goal percentage. You know, this is college hoops. Anybody can win any day of the week. So, monster game on the card tonight, UNC. UCLA should be a battle, and um, I'm absolutely looking forward to um, to that matchup as well. So we got a Friday card, man. We got a loaded Friday card, and Nicky Marino is locked and loaded. His team's ready. Card is released, and uh, we're ready to go. My five-star play of the night, my free pick for all you viewers, all you listeners, which I'm going to give out to you guys right here shortly. Iowa State against the Miami Hurricanes. The Miami Hurricanes, I mean, they've been up and down all year. I, like I said before, I've seen this team blow leads. I've seen this team come back in the last three minutes of a game, down 15, and win the ball game outright. I mean, you don't know what you're going to get. We got we to gotta see what Miami Hurricanes team is actually going to show up today, okay? And that's all it comes down to, you know, especially in college hoops, man. It's so... It's so back and forth and unbalanced where you don't know who's going to show up. It's not, you know, these odds makers, you know, do they know? No, they don't know. Look what happened last night. They made Gonzaga a 10-point favorite. They lose outright, you know. They don't know. But who's going to show up today? Iowa State, guys, I'm, I'm high on them. I mean, I've been on them the whole tournament, and I really think they're uh, – I can really see a, I see a run coming out of – Iowa State for sure. I think they get the job done against a Miami team. Which leads me to my free pick of the day for you guys. Iowa State plus three. Iowa State plus three. Lay five units on it. And then uh, sprinkle the money line. Iowa State money line for half of your unit. So we're going five units. Iowa State plus three. And then we're going two and a half units. Iowa State money line. Guys, I'm coming off a monster sweep last night. And when Nicky Marino gets hot, he just gets hot. And that's the name of the game. When, as a handicapper, hot and cold streaks, it's all that matters. You got, but there's nobody more consistent and transparent than Nicky Marino. Like, I win, my, my win percentage is a lot higher than my losing percentage. So, like I said, this is sports gambling. You got to take your losses on a chin, you got to eat your losses. And don't make excuses about your losses, which a lot of handicappers do. But Nicky Marino doesn't make excuses. We lose, we lose. We win, we win. We're one unit. We're one team at the end of the day. And that's what I do. I, and my team is very disciplined, and that's why we're successful. Because I lead and they follow. And that's the bottom line. We're going to get into some news, guys. Some, you know, breaking news. The Dodgers have been loading up, and nothing makes me more excited than Major League Baseball starting. Opening day right around the corner. I mean, 
we dealt with so much this off season with the lockout and the trades are starting now. I mean, Freddie Freeman to the to the Dodgers. Dave Roberts saying we're winning a World Series this year. I think it's going to be a real competitive Major League Baseball season. I really do. I think this baseball season is going to be really competitive. Dave Roberts, he's all he's already all over the headlines saying we're winning the World Series this year, so we'll see. I think I want to see somebody different there, though. Sick of watching these Dodgers winning, getting there, getting deep every year, man. We need we need some we need some more spotlight, you know. We got to see somebody else get there this year, and I think we will. I think this Major League Baseball season is going to be an MLB season to watch out for, and nobody's more excited than Nicky Marino. I mean, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to tap into it. I make a lot of money betting Major League Baseball day in and day out during you know during the summer and um guys it's right around the corner guys i mean we're ready man we're rock we're ready to rock and roll we're locked and loaded guys so i want to just let you guys know i started shooting my tv series for netflix um tap into that my first episode rocking with nikki marino uh will be launched on my youtube channel there'll be an episode Every day, I mean, once a week. Guys, it's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, like day in and day out, like how I live my life, like how I produce these winners, my lifestyle, you know. So if you want to know more about me that you don't know, that, you you know, just watching me on Instagram, Facebook, watching my show, it's more of like behind-the-scenes TV series. So make sure you guys check into that. If you guys do not follow my YouTube channel, please go like and subscribe my YouTube channel. The Nikki Marino. If you don't follow me on Facebook, follow me at facebook.com slash the Nikki Marino. Instagram at the Nikki Marino. And we're on all platforms. Same handle, the Nikki Marino. If you guys are not on my team and you want to get on my team, it's very simple. Go to my website, the Nikki Marino.com. Grab your package, grab your action, and um, you'll be added right to my right to my client list and we'll get you rocking and rolling, guys. A lot of things I've been really preaching about and I preach to my clients are, you know, my customized betting formula, my unit system, my ROI, return on investment system, and just following my system, okay? There's a difference between gambling to gamble and gambling to win money. And we gamble to win money. We gamble to be successful. And in, in the game of sports betting and sports handicapping, you need a lot of patience to find that successful route. And... At the end of the day, that is that is what we do. And that's the reason why we're so successful. My clients follow my lead. They follow my system. And not necessarily do you guys need a $50,000 bankroll to be successful running my system. No. So I have clients that have a bottom at the barrel bankroll. Like I have clients who started with a $250 bankroll with me. And now, now they have a $2,500 bankroll within 15 to 30 days. So my system is documented. My system is proven over and over. I mean, it, I'm a professional and this is what I do for a living. So when my clients come to me and they want to be successful, you can't show your degenerate side. I know. And I know it's hard because in sports betting in gambling period, you lose, you chase. Nikki Marino doesn't chase. We lose. We shut it down and we start the next day. And it's very important in the sports betting industry. You know, you, you just can't chase. And, you know, that's why that's why the books are, you know, there's bookies worldwide and they're, everybody's in business, you know. it's. But when you're on my team, we beat the books, you know. I don't, you know what I do. I kill the bookies. And, and that's what we do at the end of the day. It's Friday. It's Marino Fridays, guys. So you know what that means. Tomorrow is Moneyball Saturday. If you guys have not got your weekend package, get your weekend package ASAP. $99 gets you your weekender action. It's right on my website, thenickymarino.com. Join today. Customized betting formula included. Plays come right to your mobile phone, right to your email. Um, and we're real consistent. You know, our win percentage is sky high. So if you want to build some money, pull that out of the stock market and invest with the GOAT, Nikki Marino. We we really do this, man. Like, this is what we do. 
We are nonstop doing this. I want to thank you guys for tuning into the Marino Show today. And again, if you guys don't know, we're live Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Facebook. Follow my Facebook page, The Marino Show, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We had to jump in a little early today because I got a swamped Friday, but I never forget about my people. Marino is for the people. I'll never leave you guys hanging. And um, make sure you keep following for uh, for our free plays. You know, we we win. That's what we do on this side. We we win. We produce winners. We build money. We build bankrolls. Join the team if you already have it. A beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. I mean, the sun is finally out. It's finally getting hot. People are coming on vacation. Haven't heard about COVID in, in weeks, actually. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Haven't heard about COVID, vaccinations. New York just, just lifted the, the vaccine mandate so the players can play at home now. We can see Kyrie Irving in, in some action. The New York Yankees get to play their games at home. I mean, America is coming alive. We're coming back alive, all right? Slowly but surely. We probably would have already been back if, you know, and probably not at war with, you know, the Ukrainian stuff going on if Donald Trump was in office, but we're slowly getting there. It's all a build. It's all a momentum. We're getting there, and it's all about positive energy, okay? It's all about positive energy. Guys, free play tonight, Iowa State plus three, sprint, um, Five units plus three, two and a half units on the money line. Send it in. Bet your wife on it. Bet your mortgage. You know, your wife, if you lose, you always come back. But we're not losing tonight. We are not losing tonight. We're coming off a 4-0 sweep, and we're going to get another 3-0 sweep tonight. How about that? We're going to cash out the parlay tonight. We're going to hit both our straight bets, and we're going to meet Nikki Marino at the window, baby. Tomorrow's Moneyball Saturday. I'm pumped. I'm amped. I can't wait. I mean, the madness is upon us, and we're rocking and rolling. Guys, do not miss my Meet Me at the Window podcast next week. I got a huge celebrity special guest coming on the show. It's going to be outstanding. Uh, I'm totally looking forward to it. It's going to be great. So don't miss that. Guys, if you have not dropped comments on the show, drop comments now. Nikki the Goat, okay? You will be entered in a raffle. That we'll be doing later on today. And I'll be giving out three free weekend packages. A lot of people have been asking about my apparel. Guys, if you haven't got my got my apparel, get it now. Get your Meet Me at the Window t-shirt, tank top. Summer's coming. Uh, we got some towels on there. We got some snapback hats. It's all on my website under my shop link, thenickymarino.com. Make sure you tap in there and check that out. Um, follow my YouTube channel. You know, as I said earlier... My TV series, my first episode will be posted any day now. So make sure you check it out. And um, it's a lot of epic and authentic stuff, you know. Anybody can make anybody can make any kind of movie. And, you know, the production team can cut a lot of scenes out, do a lot of editing. But I'm more about I'm more about authenticity, you know. I want my fans to see me behind the scenes. I want my fans to see me, you know, in my real car, in my real clothes, in my, you know, not putting out a front like everybody else does in this industry. You know, anybody can go rent a Corvette. Anybody can go rent a Rolls, a Rolls Royce, a Lambo. It's Las Vegas, baby. Two ninety nine for the day, you know. So don't believe every image that you see. So I like the, I like the more natural look. And um, I really, I'm all about being real, you know. At the end of the day, it's all about being real. Um, we're, we got a bunch of new sponsors that are coming in, um, local businesses, nationwide businesses going to be sponsoring the show. We'll be, uh, offering, you know, a free commercial for all our sponsors. It's going to be pretty cool. And we continue to build and grow every day. If you are a business owner out there, sp especially if you guys are local in Las Vegas, contact my support team, contact my production team. Everything's on my website. If you're interested in sponsoring my show. Go ahead. I mean, you can't beat the prices that I'm starting out with. Uh, I believe it's $2.99 for our bottom low package, $5.99 for our mid-grade, and $14.99 a month for our, our max package, which is our VIP package. And, you know, it's just another tax write-off, and it's just another positive thing you could do for your business to bring more clientele in. And, um, guys, it's Marino Fridays. We got tons of action tonight. Good luck on tonight's free play. Meet me at the window. Thank you guys for tuning in. 
Follow me on all platforms. The Nicky Marino handle on everything. Go like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the love. And um, let's just build and get bigger and better every day. Make money. Join the, join the Nicky Marino team. The Nicky And thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you guys Monday. We got a big week next week. And um, the madness is here. It's happy hour somewhere. Go grab yourself a cocktail. Cash your check. Go bet Iowa State. And meet me at the window. It's Marino, baby. Do you smell? What Marino is cooking.